Hey y'all, this is BG Codes and I am Brad Garropy. In the last video, I showed you how to publish a package to the NPM repository from the command line manually. In this video, I'm going to show you how to automate that process using a CI CD tool, a continuous integration tool from GitHub called GitHub Actions. Let's get right into it. So if you're not familiar with continuous integration or continuous deployment, uh, what this means is that when something happens to a GitHub repository or to your code base, uh, a certain set of actions will automatically kick off. Um, the integration portion typically means it'll run some tests or uh, perform some branching to make sure everything works properly. And then the continuous deployment piece means that it'll uh, get deployed to a web server or a package registry or to its ultimate destination. So GitHub Actions is a free tool tied directly to your GitHub repositories that handles CI CD for you. And that's what we're gonna leverage today. So here's the code where we left off in the last video. Uh, this code is just sitting locally on our machines. So the very first thing we have to do is create a repository. Now, we could do this the old school way and go to github.com and come up here and say new repository. But I wanted to show you something kind of cool. Uh, GitHub recently uh, created a command line tool uh, by the name of GH, and we can create repositories right from the command line. So let's do that. The first thing we're going to do is go into our my package folder. This is where a package resides, and we're going to initialize a Git repository on our local machine. So git init will do it. Uh, and what that does is it essentially just adds a .git folder. The next thing we need to do is run uh, the gh command line tool, repo create. And by default, they create them as private. We want to make sure this is public. I just feel like it's uh, easier that way. So now this should automatically link to my account. And now we have Brad Garropy slash my package on GitHub. Let's double check. Go to the list of repositories, and we should see this right at the top. Here we go. And let's commit this code, right? We've already done the git init. We need to add everything, add the remote, and uh, push it all up. Remote already, oh, okay, great. It already added the remote for us. Look at this right here in the second step. Okay, so all that's set up for you only thing we have to do is add all of our code. So if we run a git status, we'll see that all of our files are not yet committed. Let's add them all. We'll see that they're all added and ready to be committed. And we'll say initial commit. And we will get push this up to our repository. Whoops, we didn't set the upstream. Git push dash dash set upstream origin master. Great. So we have now pushed a master branch up to GitHub containing our code. If I refresh this page, there it is. Perfect. So now how do we set up GitHub actions to automatically deploy this to NPM for us? Uh, it's, it's kind of a long chunk of code. So I'm actually going to copy and paste this in. First thing, you have to create a new directory called .github, and inside of there, create another directory called workflows. This is where all of your actions are stored. Inside of workflows, we can finally create our, let's say, publish.yaml file. All actions are defined with YAML files. And I'm going to copy and paste this hunk of code. Uh, this is from another project I have, and I'll walk through this step by step. So let's call this publish. And what this does, I'll also rename this to publish. So what this does is uh, the very first step is on. This is the trigger for the action. Um, right now, in, in this other project that I copied this code from, this is um, performing this action on release. So anytime you create a release in GitHub, Let's make it simpler for us. Let's do uh, an on push to the master branch instead. So we'll say on push and then define what branches we want. 
and we just want pushes to the master branch. Okay, so anytime we commit code to master, this action will run and publish to NPM. Of course, you can change that to whatever you want. Uh, I'll link to the documentation in the comments in the YouTube video. So now, uh, actions can run many different jobs at once. They can run them in parallel, they can run them uh, in sequence, either way. So we, we're really only gonna have one job, and this job's name is publish. Uh, this can run on Windows, Mac, or Linux. Uh, so I'm choosing just to run this on Ubuntu, Linux. And then we have a couple steps. First thing it does is it checks out the repository. This is a, a built-in action from GitHub. So there's an actions marketplace where you can search for lots of different actions. Uh, and this account actions is the first party official GitHub actions. So we're leveraging this one called checkout and another one called setup node.js environment. So the first step is called checkout. We check out the code. The second step is set up node. And we're just making sure that we're using the uh, node major version of 12 and setting the registry URL to be the actual public NPM JS registry. And then the last step we call publish. We're running the exact same command we ran manually in the last video. And uh, in this case, we can get rid of working directory because uh, the, the Git repository is already located in my package. Now this last part is very important. Um, you have to authenticate to be able to push packages to NPM. And what you have to do on your repository is go over to settings, go over to secrets, and we have to define a secret. Now, if we double check the GitHub action, the secret is called NPM auth token. We need to create this secret. And in order to get our auth token, we need to head over to npmjs.com Go to our account and then head over to auth tokens. I'm going to move this off screen and create an auth token for myself right now. Uh, it's going to ask you while creating the auth token, do you want it as a read only token or a read and publish? We want to be able to publish this package. So we're going to do read and publish. I've copied the token. And now I'm going to paste the value here and press submit. Once you've done that, it should look like this. Your secret is called NPM auth token, and we just updated it. Perfect. We are now set to go. This action is going to know to pull the auth token from GitHub's secrets. So we're about ready to commit code to master. Uh, one last thing we need to do is bump the version, right? So this isn't a major change. It's not really a bug fix. Let's call it a minor change. So we'll run the npm version minor command to bump this to 1.2.0. And now we're gonna be ready to commit this, this code change. So we'll check on get status. Oh, that already made the commit. Okay, perfect. Uh, and it, this is important to know. Uh, NPM version minor, if you have this hooked up to a Git repository, will actually commit the version update. So we are now 1.2. Uh, so now we've got the GitHub directory that we need to add. So we'll git add dot GitHub, git commit, add action, and git push. Let's go check out our repository. 10 seconds ago, we just committed the action. And so let's check the actions tab. It looks like our publish action is running on this add action commit. Okay, queued job, now it's in progress. We can click right here to see the status. It looks like it's checked out our code. It has uh, set up the Node.js environment. And now it's published. Oops. Now it's published our 
index.js and package.json at version 1.2 up to npm at bradgarapy slash my package. Let's confirm that. Let's go to npm. Search for our package name right here. And look, we've got version 1.2. Awesome. That worked. So that's really it. That's all it takes. Uh, understanding the GitHub Actions flow is uh, a little bit of a steep learning curve at first, but for a basic uh, version of pub publishing a node package, it's fairly simple. You can use this template for yourself. Uh, just make sure you look into a little bit of what is triggering your action. So after three videos, you've learned how to create an NPM package uh, and run it locally and test it locally. You learned how to publish that package to NPM manually, and now you've learned how to automate the publishing process with GitHub Actions. Thanks for watching this series on NPM packages. This is BG Codes, and I am Brad Garropy. Thanks for watching. Later, y'all.